Thank you, officer. Jack, if you would. Yes, please. Hello, I'm Jack Diamond, your local Hollywood talent agent. If you haven't become famous in Hollywood, it's probably because you don't know Jack. Whoa! Oh, that's, that's a lot. Hi, Hollywood. I'm Chloe Kennard, Hollywood's hottest gossip columnist. I may be left-handed, but I'm always right. Hello there, Hollywood. My name is Mimi Cabone, star of stage, screen, and your wildest dreams. <laughs> Nice to meet the three of you. <laughs> Good afternoon, voters. I am Sonny Burbank, the mayor of Hollywood, and I'm not required to be funny because government's already a joke. Thank <laughs> you. And I'm your host, Oscar Meyer Wiener. My films are like sausages, folks. They're full of parts nobody wants. Now, here's what's going to happen. We're going to get a topic for you, and then our contestants here, the citizens of Hollywood, will invent a joke based on the idea that you've given us. Let's show you how it works. Let's start with a quick warm-up round. Hello, baby, I just want to talk to you. Hi, how you doing, Kate? What's your name? Mike. Mike, what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, going into business. Business? What kind of business? Marketing. 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 This is a, a, a warm-up round to see if we can invent a joke about marketing. marketing. I'll take the first person who feels they can approach that microphone and invent a joke about marketing. marketing. Very tough, and this is only the warm-up round. <laughs> there are these 99 marketings, and they walk into... Is that right? Yeah. And they walk into this here bar, and the bartender says, I'm sorry, but you, you marketings, we don't serve you in here. And they say, well, that just doesn't add up. <laughs> add up. Add. No, no. Any other attempts at marketing? 99 marketings! Walk into a bar and the bartender said, We don't serve marketings in here! And the 99 marketing said, You don't have to advertise it. Yeah. Okay. 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 99 marketings going to a bar and the bartender said, I'm not serving you marketings, but I will sell you my house if you're interested. And they said, No, thank you, we're only interested in commercial real estate. Yeah. Oh! Commercial! Commercial real estate. No? No one else? No, okay. All right. All right. There are 99 marketings that went into this bar. And the bartender says, hey, marketings, we don't serve you around here. Get out of here. And the marketing say, no, no, we don't want to drink. We we're hoping that maybe you could give us like some Tylenol or something. We've got a headache. We've been camping out in the woods all day long. And we've got a headache. We have campaign. Camp oh. pain. Campaign. Marketing campaign. Marketing is hard. Yes, marketing is very hard. Uh, 99 marketings go into the bar and, and they throw 100 pounds of nylon at the bartender and it just drapes all over him. And he goes, what was that? And they said, sorry, we're working on our sale pitch. There you go. <laughs> all right, let's try another object. Let's keep the warm-up going. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do? Act. Act. Okay, this is about uh, the theater or the stage. Oh. Acting, the theater or the stage. Here come the jokes. 99 actors go into a bar and they couldn't afford a drink. <laughs> We don't serve you actors in here. They said you served us last night. Don't you remember? We blacked out. Oh. Blackouts. Of course, blackouts. 99 theater actors walk into a bar and the bartender says, I will not serve you theater actors in here now. Get out! And the theater actor said, That's not fair. You let curtain. <laughs> curtain. <laughs> curtain, ladies and gentlemen. Curtain. <laughs> 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 Serve actors in here, no good out. And the 99 actors said, Come on, you're playing around. Oh, I know what happened, really. There were 99 actors that went into the bar because it was time for their shift. <laughs> 99 actors go into a bar and the bartender said, Hey, what are you doing? They said, We're actors. And he said, I can just go through a stage. Oh. Right, let's have a round of applause, folks. This is not easy. Now, citizens, that was just the warm up round. What? Now we are going to elimination round. Yeah. Only one citizen will be declared the funniest citizen of Hollywood. Here's a young man living his life through an electronic device that can never love him back. Hello, sir. How are you doing? You take your eyes off the screen for a moment to be in reality. Um, oh I, I see you have a picture of four there yeah. on your shirt. Oh, uh, what's another? Uh, what's another superhero you like? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. The topic is Spider-Man. First to the microphone for a joke about Spider-Man. Here comes Amy Starlight. Spider-Man, we do not serve you in here, not after last time, that was a tragedy. And this 
part was like, oh no, 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 you don't understand that. That wasn't us. We're pretty sure that was the X Men. Yeah, yeah, we totally saw the X Men in here. And the bartender said, I don't need your web of lies. Spider Man. Okay. Here comes uh, right, everybody. Guys, there were 99 Spider-Mans who go into a bar, which would be something to see, actually. Yeah, yeah, 99 yeah. Spider-Mans go into this bar, and they go to the bartender and they say, Hey, bartender, can we have a drink? And the bartender says, No, I'm not going to serve you Spider-Mans, because every time I hear your voice, I just want to crawl up the wall. Oh, very nice. 99 Spider-Man go into the bar, and the bartender said, Spider-Man, how you doing? They said, We're doing fantastic. Uh, we just... Uh, we, we were just played in our local hockey tournament. And the bartender said, did you do any good? And they said, yeah, we won the Stanley Cup. Stanley oh! Cup! Very nice. Here comes Jack Diamond. 99 Spider-Man walk into a bar. The bartender says, I'm sorry, uh, we don't serve you Spider-Man in here. But how you feeling? They said, Superman. Oh! Oh, there you go. Let's have a round of applause, folks. Come on, this is amazing. This is amazing. How you doing? No one wants to talk to me. Folks, I'm just asking you to speak English. That's the only hurdle you're going to have to jump through. Welcome, friend. What you, where, where are you from? Boston. 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 Now, what's something you would say Boston is famous for? Uh, the Patriots. The Patriots. <laughs> so the topic is the New England Patriots. First to the microphone, here comes Jack Diamond. 99 New England Patriots walked into a bar. The bartender says, I'm sorry, we don't serve you New England Patriots in here. And they left deflated. Oh! Yes. Now, son. What is <laughs> very good? Jack. What is something else Boston is known for? Uh, the Celtics. Lobsters. Lobsters. First to the microphone for lobsters. Here comes Chloe Kennard. Ninety-nine lobsters walking to a bar and the bartender said, "We don't serve lobsters in here because we don't like you." And the lobster said, "You are so chauvinist." <laughs> oh, something else Boston is known for? Uh, the TD Garden. What? Bad train service. Trains. 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 The topic is trains. Here comes Mimi Kaboom. Many trains walk into a bar and the bartender says, I will not serve you trains in here. Now get out. And the train says, well, why won't you serve us? And the bartender says, you drink so much, you can't stay on track. Oh! Then then trains walk into a bar on ladies' night. And the bartender says, I'm sorry, we don't serve you trains here on ladies' night. They said, we're just here to check out the cabooses. Oh! Something else Boston is going for. Boston Tea Party. The Boston Tea Party. The topic is the Boston Tea Party. The topic, here comes the mayor. 99 Boston Tea Party's going to the bar and they didn't buy anything because the prices were too steep. Oh! Oh! 99 Tea Party's went into the bar and the bartender says, Hey, I'm going to serve you tea parties. What will it be? And he'll say, We'll take one beer. And the bartender says, hey, uh, Okay, fine. And they say, Wait a minute. No, no. We don't want beer. We want 14,000 beers. And the bartender says, Whoa, whoa. I said, I'd serve you. Don't go overboard. Oh! And now, folks, it's time for you to vote. We're going to eliminate. We're going to eliminate one of our citizens here. So listen carefully to these next jokes, and you have to pick the joke you like. Hello, young lady. What is your name? Lexi. Lexi. If your house was on fire, what would you run in to a burning building to save? Something in your home that is so precious you would risk being on fire to save it. Your sister. That's very nice. How about an inanimate object that doesn't annoy you? <laughs> Your phone, of course. Okay, citizens, we're going to tell jokes about a phone starting with you, Officer Peabody. Oh, oh, you, you with the pointing all the time and the you in and everything. You. Okay, all right, there were, there were 99 phones that went into the bar, and the bartender says, I don't serve your phones, get out of here. And they sprinted away. <laughs> Jack Diamond. 99 phones walk into a bar. The bartender says, I'm sorry, we don't uh, serve you phones in here. So they headed off into the horizon. <laughs> oh, 99 phones walk into a bar. And the bartender said, We don't serve phones in here. And the 99 phones said, We didn't come in here to drink. We just want a couple of apps. <laughs> oh. 99 phones walk into a bar. And the bartender says, I will not serve you phones in here now. Get out. And the phone said, Hey, what's your hang up? Oh, very nice. Very nice. Now, now, phones walking through a bar, and the bartender said, Hey, you fellas, we don't serve you in here. And the phone said, What are you talking about? We were here last night for karaoke, remember? Samsung. Samsung. Wow, wow. 99 Samsung phones going to the bar with movie actor Chris Pratt. And Chris Pratt stands in front of them with his arms crossed, glaring at the bartender. And the bartender said, What's he doing here? And the phone said, He's the guardian of the galaxy. Oh! Okay, folks, it's time.
time to vote. By applause, vote for the person you want to stay in. Is it Officer Peabody? Vote now. Okay, solid. How about Talon Agent Jack Diamond? What do you think? Hollywood's hottest gossip columnist, Chloe Chloe Kennard. Chloe Kennard. And Mimi Kaboom, movie star. Say, Evie Starlight, how about her? Or Alan Mayer, the Honorable Sonny Burbank. What do you think? Okay, the last three on the line, you're definitely safe. You got the most response. These three, you're in competition. So we're going to have a joke off between the three of you. This will decide. Hello, young lady. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a home health aide. A home health aide. What's an object you use in your profession? Um... Gloves. Gloves. Oh. Rubber gloves. Okay. <laughs> Here come the jokes. Men made rubber gloves walk into a bar. The boss says, I'm sorry, we don't serve you rubber gloves in here. And they said, you're putting us on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Men made rubber gloves walk into a bar. And the bartender said, I'm sorry, I can't serve you right now. And, and the rubber gloves said, why not? And the bartender said, I'm short-handed. <laughs> <laughs>